Flipboard for Android has been leaked. A demo, where to get it and how to install it, today on App Judgment. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Samsung Smart TV. Welcome to App Judgment, your source for mobile app news and reviews. I'm Chris Jennings. And I'm Ron Richards. And before we get started with today's episode, we want to let you know about appjudgment.spreadshirt.com, your source for App Judgment t-shirts. Yeah, we've got some great looking shirts that Annie's showing off. And you no. guys can have these too. You can look that good. Not just shirts, hoodies, pretty much all the App Judgment swag you could ever ask for. Anything you need. So go to appjudgment.spreadshirt.com. All right. Now today, though, we are talking about Flipboard for Android. And if you're not familiar, Flipboard's been out on iOS for quite a while and it's a news aggregator. It keeps track of all your Google RSS feeds. It's been really popular. Now, finally, it's moving on to Android. Yeah, but not so fast. It's not available yet in the Google Play not Store. Not yet, technically. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not out yet, but there has been a leaked APK. It has. Basically, what happened was the Samsung event a couple weeks ago when they announced the Samsung Galaxy S3, they also announced an exclusive version of Flipboard available only for the Samsung Galaxy S3 and made folks like me who use Flipboard in the iOS super excited because that means Flipboard's coming to Android, but I don't have a Samsung Galaxy S3. Oh, but no. like almost like every good exclusive APK that comes out for the Android, it leaked, it and leaked. a lot of people were able to download it, and they found it most notably on the XDA forums. Mm -hmm. so you can find the link to download it, um, and it's been interesting. Yeah, it's been it's been interesting. It hasn't been a great experience so far. It was a little buggy, some forced closing. But what's interesting is that there already has been an over-the-air update for yep. an app that's not really been released well, yet. Well, I mean, it's been released by Flipboard. Flipboard ultimately is responsible for it, and they are probably super psyched that, that more people are getting it. It's true. Samsung's probably a little pissy, but who knows? Um, but it's maybe getting a lot of buzz for the for the Galaxy S3. But with that over-the-air update, they've already made some bug fixes, some updates to the widget. Um, it's just it, I, I know when I initially got it, it crashed a couple of times. Mm -hmm. It's been crashing less, so you know maybe it's on the right track. It's getting there, and I'm yep. sure that there will be more updates in the future. But overall, I think this is a beautiful looking app. It looks a lot like the iOS experience. It, they've tailored it a little bit to the Android experience, but you know it's still the app that people have loved. Well, what's cool is that I noticed that they didn't just port it from iOS. They actually said, okay, what is the device people are using on this for this Android version? It's going to be a phone, so how would Flipboard, and I've never used Flipboard for the iPhone, so maybe mm -hmm. this is how the iPhone works, but like when I loaded it up, I was ready to, to uh, swipe left and right and realized, oh no, it's a swipe up and down, mm -hmm. and that's pretty cool. It's a little subtle difference. And that the, makes yeah. more sense on your device, exactly. which is what they were going for. Yep. But it still has the easy integration with all of your news sources. That's one of the great things. Flipboard has a whole curated channels and things like that that you can add, so if you're into tech or film or music, they've already got a whole bunch of sources. Yeah. Or you can link it to your Google Reader account. Yeah, a really easy setup. Within minutes, yeah. you have all the info you need. Yeah. And like we were saying, it's another one of those apps that now Android users like us can say, finally, we have it. It's a killer app. I mean, yeah. you show it to somebody, and then the whole beautiful magazine presentation style of an RSS feed is something that really gets people kind of excited. And you might be wondering, great, another news aggregator? Mm. I mean, like we've got Google Currents. Um, there's a whole bunch of Bacon Reader. There's a whole bunch of other yeah, great we've talked about readers. a bunch of them on the show before. But honestly, Honestly, Flipboard is almost best in class, I think. It, it, it integrates with the RSS feeds, it pulls out images, it gives you that very pretty magazine-like experience, um, and it just, it's a, it's a lot, of, it makes reading fun, which is actually a great thing for, it makes, turns into a killer app, so. Yeah, I mean, really, that's what it's looking to do. It's, it's trying to make your reading experience better on your mobile device, yeah. and if it can do that, then I think it's a great way to do it. Now, the first thing I did, though, when I got it, was I immediately loaded it on my tablet. Right, I did too, actually. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, great, Flipboard on the tablet. And while it works, it's not a officially a tablet edition. It's not a supported tablet edition. Basically, it takes the phone app and just makes it bigger, um, which is OK. But um, as you might have discovered when using the tablet, there's no landscape mode. It's only right. portrait. I really like landscape mode on the tablet. Yeah. And it seems silly to be doing portrait mode on a tablet. And, and I don't think Flipboard's quite ready for prime time on the tablet yet, right. competing with like News 360 or some of those other mm -hmm. really pretty kind of aggregators. But it's almost there. Yeah, I think it's something that you guys should definitely download and check out. There are so many other options out there. We've talked about a bunch of them. I think that at this moment, there are so many news aggregators. Everyone can find one that they like. But I think for a lot of people, Flipboard's going to be that one. Yep, absolutely. I agree. Download it. All right, coming up next, we're going to teach you how to install Flipboard for Android. But first, a word from our sponsor. On App Judgment, we're always trying to stay on top of the latest and greatest breakthroughs in the world of application development. And that doesn't mean only on your phone. You've seen us dedicate a few shows to the evolution of apps on your TV. Whether through an over-the-top box, a Blu-ray player, or directly built into your smart TV, apps on television are here to stay. Today we're taking a look at a couple of our favorite apps built into the latest Samsung smart TV. 
With this TV, you'll find traditional web browsing along with cutting edge TV apps and Samsung's signature services like Family Story to share your valuable family moments, a kid's service to get the best content for your children, and the one we enjoyed the most, the fitness service. Let's take a look. The built-in microphone on a smart touch remote control, gesture and voice controls, face recognition, and the SmartView mobile app all provide unique ways to interact with your TV. Check this out. And if you're more interested in the specs on the TV, you can experience advanced overall performance right now, from improved motion clarity to faster web access. But in the future, you'll also be able to upgrade your TV performance and functionality with Samsung Smart Evolution Kit. To learn more about these and all the other features found in the Samsung Smart TV, go to facebook.com slash Samsung TV USA. All right, welcome back to App Judgment. We're talking about how we're going to download Flipboard. How are we going to get it on our phone? Since you can't get it in the Google Play Store, you kind of have to go around some different directions. Yeah, it's a little bit of a workaround. Yeah. Like we said, we're installing the, the APK. So first off, where do you get that? We're going to post a link to it down below. You have to download it. We've had it from the XDA forums. Yeah. People have been posting it all over the internet, but we'll give you the link. Yeah, if you, if you go to Google and search uh, Flipboard APK, you'll probably be able to find it. But once you have that APK, a couple of ways to get onto your phone. One way that I like to is when I'm at my desk, I just plug my phone in via the USB cable mm -hmm. and uh, up goes that little Android application. I'm on OS X, so that makes it a little easier. And just drag and drop the APK right onto the phone, copies it over like another drive. Then you need an additional app that you can download for free in the Google Play Store called APK Installer. And that just gives you a directory structure where you can find the APK, choose to install it, and it installs like a normal app. Right. Another way to do it, if you don't have a USB cable, if you're on the road, you don't want to deal with that, you could just go to the XDA form or go to the link in your browser click on it, download the APK to your phone, and then the phone will be smart enough to launch it. Yeah. So those are two ways I do it, but you actually came up with a different way. Yeah, a way that I like to do it, and I've done this for a number of APKs that I download. So I'm using Dropbox, and I've created a folder in Dropbox called like My Apps or something like that, and I only store APKs in that folder. Yeah. So on my desktop or on my laptop, I will download it from the XDA forums. I'll save that APK file in that Dropbox folder. So then I'll go to my phone, use the Dropbox app on the phone, tap the file that I just loaded up to Dropbox, and then it will install on the phone. So you're essentially using the Dropbox cloud instead of the USB cable. Exactly. Which is great. I yeah. don't like plugging yeah. my phone into the computer. <laughs> I'm I want to keep it in the cloud. <laughs> I'm <Absolutely>. old school. <laughs> but hey, either way, it's going to work for you. You're going to get the app running. Yes, yeah, all three different ways it gets the APK on your phone, installs it, and the phone takes care of the rest. So. Yeah. So hey, there you go. Now you guys know how to install Flipboard on Android. Go check it out for yourself. Let us know what you think of the app. You can check us out on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Crosswalk. Let us know what you think. See you next time.